Hello everyone and welcome to the RevitKid.com. I'm going to show you a really quick tutorial on how to make a jerkin head or a half hip roof. Um, for what it looks like, it's kind of this thing here. You can see is the in the draft post. Uh, it's it's when there's a a hip roof, but you sort of shave off the end, and you'll see exactly what it is. It's actually very simple. Um, there's just a really really key, a really important part uh, when when drawing your roof. So I'm going to go into my uh, second floor plan and just a default template. Doesn't really matter what roof we're going to use. I'm going to create a roof by footprint. So now I'm going to draw my roof, and traditionally you have all four of these sides um, as defining slope, which if I click finish and go to 3D, you can see I have a hip roof, right? So what we want to do is we want to bring up this hip end and have sort of a half gable with a hip on, on top of it. So at first you would think, uh, well, I could just simply split my footprint. So if I go to edit footprint, I'm going to draw two reference planes so that we have a nice nice sort of even um, even area to work with so there's uh, a little reference plane I'm typing RP on my keyboard for reference plane and now I'm going to use split which is uh, SL on the keyboard or if you go under uh, modify which we're under modify roof uh, roof footprint uh, you can use the split command which is right here but you can see SL on the keyboard so I'm going to type SL and I'm going to split this roof at those reference planes Right, so now you can see we have these three line segments that are defining the slope. So really what you want is you want the bottom and the tops to not define slopes. So I just selected them, uncheck define slopes, and click finish. And now you would think, oh, wait a second, why is he still defining slope? It's still a hip roof. Well, there's one little key ingredient. So if I go back to my footprint and I select the two middle segments, which are defining our slope, there's a little thing here that says offset from roof base. If I crank this thing up to let's say five feet and click apply and click finish and I go back to my 3D view, look at that. We've got ourselves a half hip roof. So I'll do that in 3D so you get a sense of it. If I click edit footprint and I select these two and I go from five feet to let's say two feet, click apply and click finish, you can see it drives down. So the real key there is selecting those lines and where you want the offset to be. So I hope that helps you create the drinking head or the half hip root and uh, go on and build your roofs.